Hello everyone, I'm Esmeralda Padilla Gold and welcome to Vegas Vibes. On Vegas Vibes, I'll be featuring amazingly talented people from many walks of life who contribute to making Las Vegas a unique global brand. And on that note, we're here with us today is a singer-songwriter originally from the Philippines, the Prince of Christmas Song, Mr. John Mello. Hello John, how are hello. you? Hello, hello, good evening. I'm very honored to be here with your show, uh, Asian. Asian Culture TV. Yeah, yes, you're on Vegas TV, Vibes. Yeah. Well, we're very thrilled to have you. I know you flew all the way from San Francisco just yeah. to be here with us today. So we thank you for that. Um, first of all, congratulations on your latest single, yeah. Malapit Na Ang Pasko, yeah. composed by the multi-award legendary Mr. Jimmy Borja. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, the song was released last year in the Philippines. The title is Malapit Ang Pasko. And now it's being played again uh, nationwide, Luzon besides Mindanao, and it's doing good. And yeah, 3,000 hits, right? At now, uh, on my. I mean, I'm sorry, 3 million. Yeah, correct it's already, me. Uh, 3 million views. <laughs> I stand corrected. Yeah. 3 million views. And according to my friends, it's now being played uh, all over the Philippines. Wow. Yeah. How did you do that? I don't know. <laughs> it's just amazing. I'm lucky that the uh, multi-awarded Jimmy Borja gave me that Christmas song. Of course, if it's Jimmy's, Jimmy yeah. Borja's song, it has to be a hit, right? And his Lucky. first hit Christmas song was uh, Sana Ngayong Pasko. Sana Ngayong Pasko. And now, hopefully, my song Malapit na Pasko will make it the next hit of Jimmy Borja. Mm, it's happening now. Yeah, right. happening right now, but... Hopefully, it will continue. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For centuries. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> so, which of your influences inspired you in creating such a beautiful and touching rendition of this particular Christmas song? Uh, actually, uh, the composer, uh, Jimmy Borja, uh, I, uh, because he's very famous in the Philippines, I called him and asked him if he could give me uh, a beautiful Christmas song. And he immediately told me he has a nice Christmas song that was never been released. And then he emailed me the demo. And then uh, I, uh, I listened to it for a month, then presented to one of the famous composer, Venice Saturno in the Philippines. His son told me uh, that the song is really good. And imagine the son of the very famous composer, songwriter, Venice Saturno, Clang Saturno, told me this is a good song, this could be a hit song. Then after that, uh, we, I... Uh, you started recording it. I started uh, to give the demo song to the one of the best and famous arranger in the Philippines, Arnold Buena, mm. and now it's doing good in the Philippines. Wow, so it's a collaboration of three great composers. Actually, it's, it's just I presented the song to the son of Veni Saturno. I told him, is this a good song? Oh, because, just for them to listen to it. Yeah, because just they... they get make, their opinion. They make songs almost every, every month. And they made hits in the Philippines. And for him, telling me that it's, it could be a good song, then... And uh, then I, I, I did not think twice or thrice. I just uh, do the song and I have faith with Jimmy Morha because he's very good and very talented. And you actually dedicated the song to all the OFWs. Uh, and this song, according to, again, Jimmy, yes. this, he, he created this song because he's also considered an OFW because he lives in, uh, right now he's residing in Los Angeles and he felt so lonely hmm. and at that day he just for he just created and write a lyrics and then that's it yeah how he felt that day. yeah now Being it's now uh, doing good in the philippines home, yeah the philippines. and and also me I, I considered myself as an ofw so if you will listen and read the lyrics of the song it's really for ofw and also for all people who are lonely and looking for their family or husband or it really touched yeah, the hearts a very of touching. Many, uh, 
uh, OFW stands for Overseas Filipino Workers, yeah, just overseas. in case to every, yeah. uh, for everyone who don't know, yeah. who doesn't know it. And well, the majority of the comments of the people on, uh, on, on the, my song, mm -hmm. they're really lonely and they're, uh, they felt the song and the lyrics and majority of them are from OFW. Working overseas. Yeah, working overseas. Majority, I think, seventy-five percent of the comments is from o OFW. And that earned you the title <laughs> as the Prince of Christmas Songs. No, it's just it's just a comment of uh, one of the famous uh, writer in the Philippines, Eddie Littlefield. It, it, he feels that I am uh, an of OFW Christmas song, but after that, those write-up last year, it went through the. To the internet and now in even in the you went viral yeah it's on the inter when you type in the internet it says here i'm the christmas wow prince of christmas he actually made a video yeah i have a video and if they could watch it in the youtube just type john mello malapit ng pasco and you could view the song and that we created and you film it uh by the golden bridge in yeah, San my Francisco, because since okay. I live in B East, East That's where Bay you're based. area, yeah, yes. my friend told me we shoot in the San Francisco yeah, it's a great bridge. Scene. Then me and my friend just he just, he's just practicing. So after that, uh, it, it, for uh, for me it's good, and people also uh, like the video. I ask you who were your uh, what was your influence in creating this particular song and actually growing up it was your mother who first introduced you to music right yeah my mother uh, because my mom graduated in the US University of Santo Tomas mm -hmm. and she majored piano and <clears throat> she is a pianist in in a church and when I was I remember I was grade 3 to grade 6 of first year high school she always bring me to the church and sing to a thousands of people now, because of that, I have no choice but to practice because the, the people who are listening in the church, there, there's thousands of them. So what happened, I practiced now, uh, and suddenly I woke up, uh, I become, uh, I have a became good... Became your passion. Today. Yeah, and, and at the same time, it's my passion, mm -hmm. yeah. So you don't get nervous anymore, singing in a big... Okay. Yeah, I know I, I'm no nervous anymore ah, <laughs> because wonderful. of what my mom did. <laughs> no stage fright. I still struggle with that. Um, so you're based in California and yeah. you're also a businessman. You're yeah. a, you have a degree in dentistry. Yeah, so I have a degree of doctor of dental medicine and we have my wife and I have a, two dental office in Newark, California, and in San Jose, California, and <clears throat> that's uh, that's my our bread and butter. Your livelihood. <laughs> yeah. Going back to music, could you say that winning the 1993 AWIT Awards for Best New Male Performance in Manila, Philippines, was the most defining moment of your career in music? I think so. That's one of my most defining in in music because. I never expect to win that award on that night. Actually, uh, the composer, Veni Saturno, called me, Oh, June, uh, go to the CCP because there's, you're, you're a finalist. So I told him on my head, why should I go? If I go there, I'm expecting I'm, I will win. So, but his assistant called me again, June, go to... So what, I, what happened, I just grabbed uh, Barong Tagalog I did not even, I'm not prepared, and I go to, to the CCP, and I sit on the chair where all the finalists are uh, there, and on that time, the most famous singer is uh, Chad Borja, uh, his song is Ikaw Lang, and Bawal Nagamot of Willie Garte, mm -hmm. and a uh, famous singer also in the Philippines at the time, Car Calvin Miliado. So, the people are expecting one of those three will be the winner. Uh, the winner. So I'm just sitting. So when did they call your name? What was your reaction? Uh, so that <laughs> what happened when they called my name? I I I felt I'm just dreaming. They called John Mello. I'm still sitting because I'm not expecting. But 
the singer beside me uh, told me that, John, stand up. You won. <laughs> <laughs> so, because of that, uh, I stand up and I go to, to, the, to the stage and made a speech. And you know, I cannot even remember the speech I have told because I was surprised. You're overwhelmed. So that's why next time I see uh, sometimes candidates or finalists have a little paper for the for them yeah. to, to 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 tell the people who are who they, they want to thank. Yeah, it could and, be nerve-wracking. And because of that, I, I didn't prepare anything. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm very honored to won that that night. Well, congratulations. So <laughs> actually, this song is your comeback song. Yeah, right? the Christmas song because. Uh, Are you glad to be back? Is that something that you planned? How, how come you took a little break? Yeah, because I have two albums in the Philippines in 1992. I released, I think it's eight or ten songs from Ivory Records. And in 1994, it's eight or ten songs again from Ivory Records. And after that, uh, after 25 years of absence, last year is my 25th year anniversary, I just thought of just releasing uh, one single. Wait, it's a Christmas song yeah. because Christmas song, once the people love it, every year they will play it. Unlike my old uh, love song, it was a hit before, they play it only every Saturday, Sunday. Sometimes they don't play it. <laughs> but on Christmas, they play it every Three months in a year. Yeah. Yes, that's wonderful. So after all of the accomplishments that you have achieved, uh, do you still have something in mind that you would love to pursue that's in your pocket list? Maybe in, on my singing career, I still I, I want to, uh, to, to make uh, a hit Christmas song that is really a hit that will uh, uh, be remembered by the Filipinos for the rest of their life. That's my dream on my singing, on, about my career. <clears throat> uh, even though I'm already not young, I'm still uh, Looking aiming. Looking young. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm still aiming, going to be a dentist in Canada, a licensed dentist. So that's why uh, for the whole, this coming past one, two, two years, uh, I will be studying. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Well. That's my goal. So what pieces of advice would you give to aspiring uh, recording artists of this generation? Uh, my piece of advice, if you want to become a recording artist, is be patient because you don't know uh, when you will have a hit song or you don't know what will happen to your career or singing career. And maybe the best thing is to have a top manager for your career and there should be a career plan and just be patient you need only one song a hit song one hit song to be known to be known and that's it one song will make you happy you will be fulfilled with one hit song i agree you should surround yourself with the right people for you to achieve all your dreams in life yeah kindly invite all your fans where could they find you yeah um, uh, my fans uh, i have a facebook it's named John Mello, and at the same time, uh, a page John Mello Entertainment. And on my YouTube, just type John Mello Entertainment. You could watch all my songs there, my first, second album, and my Christmas song, Malapit ng Pasko. And hope uh, you, you support or click the page to like it, and at the same time, subscribe on YouTube. Well, three million views. <laughs> <laughs> on that hit song, Malapit na ang Pasko. Well, congratulations again, Thank Sir you. John Mello. Thank I you. wish you continued success. Thank you. Rin sa'yo Malapit na ang Pasko Saan ka man, ikaw ang kailangan ko Malapit na ang
I'm Esmeralda Padilla Gold. Catch me again next time as I feature another amazing personality here in Vegas Vibes. And I would like to thank my wardrobe sponsor, Anne Fontaine, located at the Fordham Shops inside Caesars Palace. Take care, everyone, and God bless.